wine snobs. Welcome to another edition of Seller Update. I was initially going to do these uh, once a month, but uh, I'm quickly realizing that's not really feasible. I think we're gonna have to do this pretty much as they come, because um, I don't add wines to the cellar on any specific schedule or cadence. Um, so it's probably gonna be weekly, exception of some weeks here and there, depending on my activity. Um, but this will consider cellar update number two. And uh, we're adding a couple wines to the cellar today. And we're gonna do a quick rundown of the wines and uh, my rough thoughts. These are wines I've reviewed in the past and um, obviously they made enough of an impression. And uh, not only uh, do I have them already in the cellar, I decided to add a few more um, to the first. cellar. The first one uh, we're looking at today, we're adding today is the Louis Martini Cab Sauve from Sonoma. And this wine I've reviewed before, I've taken a look um, and I really liked it. It's a pleaser. It comes in at a great price, um, but it's, it has a broad appeal. Um, it appeals to a broad you know, spectrum of palettes. Uh, this is the kind of wine you can open with friends, both enthusiasts, wine enthusiasts, and or not, both beginner palettes or intermediate to advanced. And I think everyone will have a pretty fair appreciation for the wine. Um, it's uh, pretty balanced down the middle, um, not overly complex, um, but not overly abstract as well. Um, and just an all around very approachable wine um, by a great winery. I have visited Louis Martini before and uh, if you're ever in Napa, I highly recommend you stop by. Um, some of their signature wines definitely will, appe will appeal to any of the advanced palettes out there. I love their Monte Rosso uh, Cab Franc, uh, but this is a great everyday sipper and uh, at a very approachable price. And uh, that's what I like about it. It's, it's got a good all around package. All right, so the next one we're adding to the cellar is the Martin Ray Cab Sauve from Napa Valley. This is an amazing cab. <laughs> uh, this is a highly understated cab. And the first time I had it, it completely caught me off guard. And just to make sure it wasn't just me, uh, I served it to uh, several other fellow wine snobs and their instant reaction was one of surprise. Um, it's a very well-made, beautiful, balanced, structured, terroir-driven cab. Uh, you just, this is getting pretty high up there and uh, for, again, a very approachable price. Um, I'm not sure what these go for currently, but you should be able to find them somewhere in the maybe $25 to $30 range. And it's just amazing. It's, it's, it's unbeatable um, at that price point. Um, I highly recommend it. This is a 2017 and uh, I already have between half a case, uh, almost a case, and I decided to add a little more of it just because I'd like to enjoy it. I'd like to enjoy more of it, um, especially as I follow and allow the rest of them to, to age a little more and also, you know, um, integrate a little more. Um, great winery, great winemaker, um, and uh, they make great terroir driven wines. Highly recommend it. I'll also have the links below um, for the reviews. Uh, the third one we're adding is uh, Pinot Noir from uh, Santa Barbara County by Pali Wine Company called the Huntington. Now, when I looked at this Pinot uh, the first time, I, I didn't know what to think about it when I opened it. Um, it, it definitely is a big Pinot, um, and perhaps that's what caught me off guard. And uh, I had mixed feelings at the beginning of the bottle, and as I worked my way down by about the second glass, um, 
I, I developed a I developed a respect for it. Um, so I I I I have a I have an interesting relationship with this specific Pinot from Pali Wine Company. I love their Pinots, pretty much every single one of their Pinots, but this one is, I found was interesting. Um, and it's one of their uh, more affordable offerings. Um, I highly recommend it. Every now and then it'll pop up on sale uh, on wine.com. And uh, I highly recommend you take a look at it. I think it could use a little more time because it's a bigger Pinot. It's just bold and, and has these very aggressive profiles um, and uh, multi-layered, just really, um, it's a good structured big Pinot um, and I like that. Um, I think it needs a little more time and uh, over time I'm going to be adding more of these um, as new releases come out, but also as uh, they pop up on wine.com. I'll go ahead and snag a couple and add those as well so I can enjoy them over time and catch them just when they're right. Um, but yeah, the uh, Pali Wine Company, Huntington. Great Pinot Noir. Okay, the fourth bottle we're adding to the cellar is a Pinot Noir from Carneros 2016 by Artesa. This is a, the region, Carneros is a region uh, on the border between Napa and Sonoma. And um, what I absolutely love about this region is the terroir. It's unmistakable, especially with when it comes to Pinot. Um, it just has this certain mushroom leather it's a very subtle, but it's fairly consistent across the region. And it's unmistakable. I love it. It haunts me every time. And uh, you just can't go wrong with a Pinot from Carneros, but one of the nice Pinots from Carneros is Artessa. Um, I've reviewed this one before, I believe. It may have been the pre previous vintage earlier this year. Um, so we'll have links to that below. Um, every once in a while, they'll pop up on wine.com and uh, it's a great opportunity to snag one at a great price. Um, definitely a good value. And last but not the least is <laughs> a Pinot Noir from Santa Rita Hills uh, by Sanford, 2017. Uh, if you're going to have California Pinot, you need to have some Sanford. <laughs> I, I, should, I, should, I should probably mention, I am not in any way sponsored or paid or anything by any of these wineries. Um, this is the stuff I'm adding personally to my cellar. This is the stuff I like. This is the stuff I've gone through and I have whittled down to these five bottles in the last week or so um, as far as what was available um, the you know what was on sale and looking back at my notes and i have to say <clears throat> the santa rita hills this pinot noir and embodies the santa rita hills it has there's a certain signature berry you get um, in that region from that region at large um, but the execution by Sanford is, is one for the textbooks. Um, you know, this is my second favorite of, the, of all their lineups, their signature Pinots. Um, my most, you know, favorite is the one from their legacy vineyard, the Sanford and Benedict Vineyard. That one reads like a thesis on how to make a nice, subtle, Burgundian style Pinot in California. Um, but this one, the Santa Rita Hills, is a close second to that. And um, it's always a treat to open. This is a very nice, special Pinot that I encourage you to try. I think everyone should have this at least once in a while to gain a little bit, a little more insight, um, especially if you're developing your palate and you're just starting to really get into wines, especially California wines, and more importantly, Pinot. Um, 
there is a plethora of uh, big California Pinots out there. These guys almost completely specialize in subtle, nuanced Pinot. Um, so take a look at them, the Sanford 2017 Santa Rita Hills Pinot. This is a great wine. So whenever it pops up, I always like to grab a bottle. So there you have it, wine snobs. Um, this is uh, this week's seller update. And uh, check the links below uh, for the reviews and uh, links on where to order yours as well. You can order them from wine.com, of course. Um, if you're in state, you know, feel free to give them a call directly. If you feel like supporting winesnob.blog and uh, what we're doing here, uh, feel free to use the links on the blog. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this insightful, informative in any way. And uh, uh, look forward to seeing you on the next uh, seller update. If you have any questions, get in touch with me on uh, Instagram at winesnob.blog, on Twitter at winesnobblog, or just on the blog at www.winesnob.blog. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next update. Cheers, wine snobs.